Pillars of Eternity, the White March begins. Let out for Stalwart. The White March rises up in the distance, stretching to the north and south as far as the eye can see. It beckons to you with peaks like broken fingers. The road thins to a tattered ribbon, and the shadow of the mountains falls across your path. You've barely begun your climb when the darkening sky pummels you with hailstones and turns the ground beneath you to ice. You press on. The air grows thin, and the treacherous mountain passes funnel screeching winds past your ears. A blizzard forces you to make camp for three days, huddling for safety while snow piles around your refuge. At last the weather clears, and you approach Stalwart under a crisp blue sky. There's a noise, high and sharp, coming from the village that sounds at first like another frozen gale. But when you top the rise and reach the village's wooden gates, you see what lies beyond them. Welcome back, everyone, to Pillars of Eternity, the White March expansion. It begins here. It's Darzir with a whole pack of them. We can take these bastards. Yeah. That guy could it. Crack ogres. Okay. Let's light them up. The entire town might be under siege. Look out! More of them by the fishery! Pepper him with some light spells for now. Winter wolves. Help these beast. Cannoneers. Never mind. We need help! 
Holy schmokies! Just us now, it seems. Darzir. There he is. It's time to focus. Fuck. Touch yourself, Pelagina. Man's down, so it's game over. There's a lesson to be taught. That's it. Darzir's full. Back to the matron now. That's right, I killed him. the one Reginald sent for. She'll want to speak with you. Her house is just up the way, next to Graf's Rest. 
The messenger pants, waving smoke away from his face. Katie's house is burning! Hurry! They're both in there! Yes. Help! The hut's coming down! Hold on, I gotta pick up stuff! The roof of this hut is almost entirely enveloped in flames. Lightning in the snow in stark orange hues. Lighting the snow in stark orange hues. Several beams have been reduced to ember dotted husk. Through the hut's threshold, you see only billowing smoke. Fire roars as it climbs the timbers. The air feels thick and hot. And the building is a maze of flame withstanding the smoke. Navigating the fire will be a challenge. You leap over the burning threshold, plunging past a veil of smoke. Inside the house, fire has pitted the walls and beams, and thick haze rolls through the building. It is hard to even see a few feet ahead, save for the occasional glimpse of glowing embers. You move onward through the haze of the heat and soot. The hut groans and shifts as the blaze grows. Above a beam begins to sag, threatening to crash down into the corridor. From just ahead comes the faint sound of a voice calling for help. Booms of smoke are dragged down as the beam plummets and lands in burst of embers. Smoke stings your eyes and fouls every inhale of soot. The smoke has gotten thick. You begin coughing, but you're able to press on. Pressing forward, you come at last to a wider room. To the left is a man, the source of the faint cries for help. He stands trapped behind a curtain of flame, arms raised to ward off heat. It may be impossible to reach him without quenching the fires first. To the right, a woman lies unconscious beneath what appears to have once been the roof. She's small, but the rubble trapping, trapping her looks heavy. Smoke winds its way up and out into the open air, obscuring all sight of the outside. Sorry, dude! This woman is trapped beneath a considerable amount of rubble including heavy crossbeam. A purpling bruise on her temple suggests that she was struck as the debris fell. On her outflung hand, you can make out the glint of a ring. Ooh, that's a pretty ring I'll take! You pry the ring from the woman's finger and tuck it away. Bye-bye! The ordeal has taken a meager toll, but you have fared well, retaining enough energy to press on. You turn for the exit, intent on escape. You clamber over the fallen beam with grace, avoiding the scattered embers and debris underfoot. The smoke clouds your vision and makes it difficult to breathe, but you stagger onward. At last you come to the door rushing out of the blaze and into the mountain air. Nothing I could do, sorry! Oh God. Both of them. You all right? I'm sure the thing was coming down and taking you with it. Man wipes his brow and stares up at the collapsing house. Too bad about Lurgolder and Kitty. They... His eyes widen as a section of the roof collapses. He looks away, shaking his head. You look like you could use a drink. Take this over to Heferix and have one on me. He flips you a couple flat carved bones. Yeah, I went in there and they were already dead. Don't know. Found a shiny ring, though. Plus 5 damage reduction against bird, and plus 10 defenses against spells. Ring is heavy and rough hewn. It looks like it was cast from poorly refined lump of silver. Tiny impurities still glisten around the band. Given the obvious tool marks, it appears to have been made by an amateur rather than a professional jeweler. We got a pretty nice ring, so I'll have to decide on who I want to stick that with later. Well, I never did grab these spells. Consul House Parasitic Staff. And Dimensional Shift. Look all that shit you can get. I 
think that's always good to have self-protection spells. And while well, the flame's not something I use a whole lot. Imprint seems useful. Dimensional shift. Situational but useful. And who cares? If they're 100 copper, might as well. Round stock is also gained a level. Try to get him up to that next tier of damage reduction. He's also getting two spells, which of course we can learn from our buddy Aloth, which I forgot to do actually. But now we can trade. I definitely want Chain Lightning. This death ring calls a black ring of necrotic energy into being that spreads out in all directions, causing corrode damage to enemies it touches and potentially destroying those with low endurance. It's a faux AoE corrode. That sounds sexy. The other advantage of having two mages, two wizards in the party, you can cross-examine spells. Sharing spells. Sharing is caring in this game. Of course, that just cost us 2,400 copper. Not that we can't afford it, but still. You know, at 94,000 copper, we're, we're okay. We're sitting pretty. Welcome to White March. This will be our first White March save file. We still need to take care of our building, our stronghold. Doesn't look like they added anything since we transferred over. Put out the goddamn fire already! Alright, we have Tiana's house. Uh, Renegade's house. Durgan's Battery, the Gref Rest where we are instructed to go, the Stellar Hot Springs, the Fishery, the Temple of Andra, Durin's Wagon, Thriska's House, off to Longwatch Falls and the Deerwood. And this direction is Russetwood. Holy shit! This is, what, from what I hear, a pretty expansive expansion, so get ready for several hours here. Yes. Ogre leader didn't drop us anything? Man. Fresh fish! Freshly caught! Effigy's eyes! It looks at me! Ah! Huh? That guy's a weirdo. As you wish. A dozen pair of globby eyes stell up piteously from discarded heads the day's catch. Awash in a pungent sea of fins and innards. 
This is gross, but gotta do it. Your hands run up against something round and fleshy, the size of a melon. It is smooth and scaleless. The parts seem to be covered in hair. A discarded head, perhaps, but not that of a fish. With one hand on either side of the head, you begin to lift it out of the barrel, only to have it leap from your grasp as the head's owner springs over the lip of the barrel in the eruption of fish chunks that rain down over the market stall. A man who leapt from the barrel stands facing you, nearly naked, save for a loincloth, and drizzled in fish viscera. He's covered head to toe in scars, tears and punctures, and thorny imprints of lashings. Most are faded, like old memories. Despite that, the condition of the man's body is remarkable. The drooping skin at his flanks and elbows, the only evidence of his advanced age. His face is placid, but the rest of him appears prepared for anything. You must forgive, Zawa. I was not expecting you. He looks at you in the eye at first, but his gaze drifts now and then, settling on strange parts of your face as though distracted by new discoveries. If he is at all flustered, he gives no indications. Ah, uh, what were you doing in that barrel, weirdo? He scratches behind his ear, dismayed. Resting my eyes, I thought, waiting for the Malkut show to bring me insight. He shakes his head. It would seem I dozed. Good thing my master was not alive to see it. Zawas blinks, blinks, leaning in to get a better look at you. His enlarged pupils seem to crowd out his pale irises. Are you... Uh, are you real? Now that you ask, I'm not so sure. Hmm. We shall let the matter rest for now, then. Until the Malkachoa wears off. Malkachoa? A small white mushroom. Ah! I have heard it called snowcap in You are eyes. tripping balls, sir! It can reveal the true nature of many things. You have a master, you said? How would you like a new one? The man traces you inadvertent glay glances at his scars. He smiles politely. A teacher, not an owner. Zawa is a free man. Well, as free as any of us. I still don't understand why you were in that barrel. I was freeing myself from vanity. Did he say van sanity or vanity? Consider, how can one be vain who is bathed in the smell of dead fish? Well, it helps to be this handsome. I had the idea when I passed this way earlier. I am pleased with the results so far. He smiles at a woman whose head is swiveled toward him as she passes by, a look of revulsion on her face. Distracted, her toe catches on a stone and she nearly falls on her face. He claps his hands together. <laughs> yes, quite pleased. Are those scars from battle? He glances down at his body. From battle, yes. I left them upon my enemies. He points to various patches of crisscrossing scars. These were struck against fear. These against pleasure, these against hatred, those down there against greed and doubt, and these... He points to his face. These were for vanity. You made those scars? I cannot take credit for all of them, but I did most of the good ones. His mouth perks. I put them there in battle to remind myself what is real and what is not. Our worst enemies are inventions of the mind, pleasure, fear, when we see them for what they are, we become unstoppable. And you have achieved this? I feel I have been close, but never for more than an instant. In the moment when the pain is sharpest, the world becomes clear. In that moment, I am a match for anyone. Your wounds must have caused you to suffer greatly. Of course, I am fortunate to have suffered so much. If I did not suffer, I would not aspire to free myself from it. I would wander from one unfulfilling goal to the next. More wealth, a better station. My soul would wither. But to search for a place beyond suffering's reach is to nurture the soul, to harden it against the elements. He clenches his fist in illustration. Suffering is the greatest gift the gods have given us their most beautiful, perfect creation. It is the hand that turns the wheel. His eyes gleam as though looking upon an old and beloved friend. 
Do you often smear yourself with fishy fish? <laughs> Gods, no. What a way to travel the world. Smell like butthole right now. The usual way is to smear yourself with the ashes of the dead. But they do not burn their dead here. So I have to make do with what the land provides. <laughs> the cold seems to conquer the smell. Even now, the scent hides itself. Disappointing. You don't seem like you're from around here. I was visiting a monastery not far from here. I found it empty, but I met a messenger as I left. He carried a call for aid. Seeing that he would find no monks at the monastery, I chose to go in their place. Zawa is no longer young, but in combat he is still the greatest of the Takan people. It seemed only right that he should go. Stalwart hired hire me as well! I would not say I am hired. I seek no wage, and I promise no result. I have chosen a path, and my spoils come from walking it. An uneasy frown settles on his face, almost a wince. And this fortress, this Durgan's battery, its people are gone. Zawa would know why. If you seek the White Forge as well, I could use the help of an experienced warrior. His face tilts upward, his eyes fixing on the sky. He remains motionless, entranced. At length he blinks as if awakened and looks back at you. He shrugs cheerily. If one wishes to swim, it is no time to argue with the current. We are here, together, in this moment, because a perfect force has willed it. Who is Zawa to argue? He looks you squarely in the eyes, and for once they do not drift. I will walk with you so long as the gods wish it so. Let us be on our way. Go back to my stronghold. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's watch these guys get some water. That was quick. Ooh, beef jerky! Fish jerky. Speckleback fish are common in the cold waters flowing out of the white marsh. Their lean meat makes them ideal for curing and drying its use of jerky. Deer woodens often salt their jerky, but still our locals cut specklebacks into thin strips and use smoke to cure them. Bet you that's yummy as fuck. Slowly now. Gonna be lots of dialogue, lots of lots of quest getting, and uh, we shall be in this area. I'm assuming for a video or two. Let's enter Gruff's Rest. I dread discovering what passes for cuisine in this place. Ooh, still can't feel my fingers. I can still smell the smoke, even in here. Hey there, good timing. You can watch me trounce Bethwin. Alcohol and soft objects. This won't end well. What's that, Drin? You won once. What are you playing? Olin's head. Andred grips sheepishly. That's it. Uh, that's what they call it anyhow. Smooth. You pick a target. See nose or ears. Nose is worth more, but you've got two ears to work with. You get less points the further out from the target you get. So, for the mouth and eyes, no points if you miss. Cool, let's play! Andred pulls the throwing knife from his belt, turning it over in his hands. Wage is 50 pans, you in? Sure, but I had to lower my dexterity, so I don't know how well I'll do. Good man, I'll go first. Show you how it's done. Andred aims carefully and throws his blade. The knife hits the first, scoring two. He walks up to retrieve the knife. Your turn. I better go for the ears. I'm not good. 
The knife hits the skin, scoring one. Andrew aims carefully and throws his blade. It hits the nose, scoring ten. Oh yeah, look at that! Hit him right in the head, bitch! I don't think I'm gonna win. All right, we lost a dagger throwing. Probably need to have higher decks, I would imagine, but as you wish. I'm not gonna sit here and piss oh, away any more copper on that. Check on that Orlin. Make sure he don't steal nothing. Never seen such a bloodbath. Feels like we got half the town's survivors in here just drinking to forget it. The dwarf surveys the crowd, his expression sober despite the half-empty flag in his hand. He shakes his head and looks to you, remembering himself. But you must be looking for some refreshment, too, after the way you handled them ogres. Or perhaps a room. Say the word and I'll give that shifty little Orlin the boot. What Orlin? Showed up a few days ago, sticks his nose out of the back room just long enough to empty his chamber pot. He squints toward the hall as if daring the Orlin to show himself. Up to no good, I tell ya. I'd like nothing more than to see him gone, but I don't want to ruckus over it. What makes you so sure he's trouble? We get our share of lowlifes coming through here. Smugglers, fugitives, kith looking to avoid the sharp eye of the law. You sound racist! The way he's keeping to himself, well, honest kith sure don't have cause for it. I could talk to him! Okay. Nice fuck up on the audio. Don't hurt him or anything. I just want him to leave peacefully. Given your history, I thought I'd be clear on that point. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Let me see what shit you got. Are you sure, Lug Lug? I think I saw a fish head floating in the stew pot. Nothing like a pint. No, they like a pint to take the chill off. Stellwart Rabbit Stew. Potion against blue, potion of blue rock against the elements. Hey, food looks fine here. What's white nefer? Made with juniper berries that are common in the foothills and low slopes of the White March. White nefer is popular with locals as well as the northern neighbors and red cirrus. It normally is distilled in simple household pots with grain mash and various local herbs to meet the maker's preference. Because it's a powerful spirit, it's not popular as a recreational drink in your Glen Fast. Right, Loop Loop? Yeah. My kitty cat decided to join us. He's up here hanging out playing some pillows with his dad. You enjoying yourself, bud? Oh, okay. Fantastic. Welcome to the LP, sir. All right. Got to be more people to talk to in here. Look, look, just of lets course. himself in. Robin rooms, that's what we do. Excuse me, was there something you need? She knits her fingers together and looks intently at the floor. Not to be rude, but I'm rather busy. Can't you get another room? The Orlin turns and glances past you with a quick nervous motion. His ears shredded and scalloped at the edges, or pressed against his skull. Hey, 
Afric sent me to check on you. He's racist against Orlin, so of course he thinks you're up to something. He... what? Oh no. No. He runs his claws through his hair and tugs at long, ragged ears. Can't imagine why you think a thing like that. Is she there? Did you see her? Who are you talking about? Devola. That woman. The slaver, she... I was a slave in Raid Ceres. I ran away. Made it here. The mountains are usually the best place to lose slavers. But Devala's one of the best. Maybe I'll turn you in. Please, no! He falls to his knees, clutching at the edge of your garment. I... I can pay you! I'd scrape together a little money. It's yours if you get rid of her. She's west of town. That's the rumor. Please, just help me get out of here. He looks down and wrings his hands. We'll see! White March, just mixing our uh, quest in with the other ones. So so far we have overstaying his welcome. I wish they would have made it so I could just not see the gray ones, like filter those out. I'm try to just pick up the quest here mostly. Something I can do for you? I guess they're just gonna chill in that room. Yes. So I was slain friend, and they crowned you king of Stellwatt yet. A friend doesn't mean to be an ass, sir. It just comes natural. What? I'd want a crown. Guess they didn't talk to me the last time because Lug Lug was too far away. Some gambling Ten pounds down here. says he trips them. You're awful. Doesn't look like we can steal anything, unfortunately, without getting in trouble. An assortment of dusty vintage lines, these shelves. Many date to before the War of Defiance. The hero of the hour! <laughs> Afric send you down to check on us. We aren't causing any trouble on my word. Who are you? Ten of the sick. He raises his mud. Humble fisherman. Both the ogres coming down all the time. Well, I should have fished for truth down a bottle for the time being. What are you playing? Dozens. Get a test your luck. Each of us puts down 50 pants. Fuck it. Let's do it. Might as well... Play each of the games once. Roll the dice. You cast the dice. One, one, three. Witnesses value three. My witnesses beat your witnesses. Looks like I win. I forfeit. Shame. Come on back if you get cold out there. It's a straight dice luck game it looks like.
What is it? She buried him Barb's going at it. I didn't see that. Nice and quiet. I think we've talked to everybody. And what does the flame reveal? Except maybe the cook. We're nearly out of soup stock. Have to start boiling more fish heads. Figured you'd be out of here in a flash after the fighting died down. Most people don't stick around after they figure out the ogres are making regular visits. I would have helped fight them monsters off, you know. If I didn't think I'd just get in the way. And with you there to handle things, uh, everything turned out well enough, didn't it? Don't see why Haverick's still sour at me. What's this about Haverick? Oh, Haverick's the innkeeper over at the Grave's Rest. Duh! I... May have been hiding in the inn when the fighting started. The raid didn't improve his disposition any. Did you know he has a whole case of Fenlin liquor in there? I keep offering to buy it off him, but he says he's saving it up for when the batteries open again. As if we're gonna last that long. <laughs> Anyhow, he said he'd thrash me up and down the mountain if I didn't leave him be. What's so special about it? They say a single drop changes your life. You'll never want to have a drink of anything else. Probably that's all rubbish, but it's supposed to be very good. Lug Lug likes good beer. It's delusional is what it is. Hey, look, maybe, uh, not that you have the face for it or anything, but maybe you could help me out. Oh, bravo. Subtle indeed. Averick keeps all the good stock in the inn cellar. Out of sight, you see. I mean, it's bound to be under lock and key, but... I'm sure he wouldn't miss a single bottle. Not with everything that's going on. And what do I get out of this? Uh, I'll pay you for it. I swear it. We'll split my wages. And the bottle, too, if you like. I just want to be able to say these lips have tasted the best the Ishimidal Blades have to offer. Anyone ever tell you you're a little strange, Rayfeld? Nothing so kind. You try living here a few years and see how you turn out. I will steal this for you. I am evil Lug Lug. No fucks given. Thought I'd found shelter when I stumbled across this little village. Guessing you did too, huh? Pharaoh raises a frosty mug to you. Even though the warmth of the hearth reaches you here, her hands are wrapped in wire wool, and her ears muffled by a hat. Her face has a taut, wind-beaten look of someone who's recently come from the road. As much blood as there was in the streets, I'm lucky the ale's still flowing. She takes a drink and she tilts her head back. You see a bruise purpling her jaw and a crimson bloom of scraped knuckles. What happened to you? Thought all the whispers about Durgan's battery were just village superstition. And maybe they are. 
but I might have been on my guard if I'd listened. I was part of an expedition, hunting for relics from Durgan's battery. We picked up a good haul, too. She takes a slow swallow of her beer. Luglug's eyes pick up, perk up. So it figures that's when the winds pick up and the sky starts dumping snow. We lost sight of the road. Meanwhile, something else found us. Took Lena out before we even realized we were surrounded. And then we see him coming out of the snow. These little four-armed wilder. Lagufoth, they're called. Lagufoth? She shakes her head, staring at the embers in the fire pit. Quick little bastards. Francesca and I held them off as long as we could, but when they filled her full of darts, I turned tail and ran. Found my way here and thank my luck for escaping the Lagufoth. Then come to find out that this town's got an ogre problem. Quit your whining! Sorry if my troubles are a bother to you. She glares back. I need to get those artifacts. Not that I'm in any shape to go after them myself. But I can't afford to return to Defiance Bay without something to show for my expedition. Apprehension creeps into her expression. She stares into her mug, swirling its contents. But you know how to navigate the wilds. You'd be able to find your way out there and back with no trouble, I'd wager. She looks up from her mug, hopeful. I'll give you a cut for anything you bring back, of course. I ain't asking for charity. I just can't afford to go home empty-handed. She brushes her nails along the side of her mug as that anxious look returns. Tell me what you're looking for! Like I said, we were treasure hunting near Durgan's battery when we were ambushed. What else do you want to know? I'm going to examine your teeth with my high perception. As Farrah talks, you notice that her teeth and gums are stained with dark spots. Why are these relics so important to you? We took out several loans to pay for our trip out here. I'm going to have trouble if I don't pay them back. She scratches the back of her neck. What do you know about Durgan's battery? Just that it's been locked up tight for 200 years on account of those dwarves having a row. She shrugs. Which means that any trinkets from inside fetch a nice price. Sorry, I'm more of a businesswoman than a historian. Remind me where I can find your caravan? What's left of it should be near Durgan's battery. If you stumble across the Lagavoth, you'll know you're close. righty -o. All right, another questicle. I'm assuming the, uh, the booze is down here. Hi? You should see this. Holy shit. Getting that XP though. Alright, I'm not gonna steal from that because we wanna actually get the booze. Oh, we found some booze. Finland Liquor, distilled exclusively from Red Syrian town of Finland, which sits on the rocky promontory overlooking a marsh. The liquor is distilled from local figs and flavored with a blend of marsh plants, resulting in a sweet-tasting spirit that's popular both locally and abroad. Okay. Just I looking shot. around, just looking around. Nothing to see here. And they couldn't see me. That was yes. just the perfect position. As you wish.
Need to make sure I do lots of saving because we might be doing some backtracking uh, from what I hear from uh, Mr. Satan, the Pillar of Eternity Encyclopedia. There's lots of evil things to do here in town and we want to make sure we embark on all of those. So I will be uh, making multiple saves in case I fuck, some fuck something up. Please tell me you found it. I've got a craving like you wouldn't believe. Under lock and key is an understatement. Wait, really? You did it! Oh, thank the... Thank you! This is going to be great! Oh, oh and here, here's the money I promised. To the Lord of Cadnua. He raises the bottle and takes a long drink. Oh, that's, uh... Ah. Uh, that's, that's, that's a bit strange. Here, have a, have... <laughs> a bout of coughing overtakes his words. Shit, is it poisoned? What? No, it just tastes awful. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Did you see that? See? See? I I think my tongue is going numb. Wait, wait, wait. I can't feel my face. What's happening? Maybe I won't be sharing that drink after all. Rayfall paws at his cheeks and then his nose with increasing desperation. A flailing finger catches him in the eye and he yelps and covers his face clumsily with both hands. I can't... I, I think I bit my... But I can't feel a thing. This has to be Havrick's doing. He must have put something in the bottle. Please, you have to help me. What do you want me to do? Havrick, that smug prick. He has to be behind it. He... He has to know how to fix... Fix this! Please, go speak with him. I'll give you every coin I have! <laughs> we'll see! So far, Back I like where this is going. Hand, eh? What can I do for you? Rayfold ran afoul of a certain bottle of liquor! So that little bastard finally got up the nerve to snatch it, did he? Well, serves him right. Maybe he'll think twice about stealing a man's vintage now that he's dribbling all over himself. You're right, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Glad you think so. Look, I dabble in the occasional potion, but I never whip up anything I can't cure. He gets desperate enough, I'm sure he'll find someone to fetch him the ingredients. What would you need to cure him? You want to help him out, all you need is a river reed in the heart of an ice troll. You ought to find both by water. That creek out west, for instance. A heart of a what? You heard me. Ice troll. Really, Rayfall's getting off easy. Those traps cost me a fortune. But they gave me good experience, too. You have to help me. Ugh. I can't stay like this. Oh, thank the gods. I'll uh, wait here and hope nobody comes by the talk. I wonder if we can get the ingredients and then not make a potion and then crack it on the ground in front of them. Or we just don't ever do the quest. Soma Shackler, slaver from Red Ceres, has arrived requesting a prisoner to buy. I'm going to send Scarface with him. Someone in the shitter? I'm not done yet, damn it! Still taking a poo poo up in here!
This dwarf is busy staring into the fire, slowly puffing away on his pipe. As you greet him, he's visibly startled, and his pipe clatters to the floor. Mm, sorry. Didn't hear you come in. My ears aren't what they used to be. He stoops, wincing to retrieve his pipe. When he rises again, his hand is against his side. How did you get injured? Wasn't the ogres, I can tell you that. Put a few arrows in one of those, and they generally have the good sense to back off. But, I've been hunting this wolf for near a year now. A man-eater. Cunning, nasty thing. Every time I get close, it just slips away. The beast has already claimed many lives. The first victim was my son, Saldron. Thrisk looks down at his pipe for a moment, features hardening. Got the better of me this last time. Distracted me long enough for one of its kin to turn up. <laughs> Nearly bit me clean in half. I'm a few weeks out from trying again. You said this thing is a wolf? No ordinary wolf. A monster. This creature is big. And I see the signs it leaves behind. The mess it made to the last couple of hunters and the elk. It doesn't always finish its meals. Damn thing might be sick. In any case, it needs to be put down. Where is the beast? It roams the russet wood out to the west. Seems to have decided the lake is a good place to find prey. Yeah. It's picked off some scattered ogres from time to time. But mostly it's been going after hunters. Travelers. Can you tell me about your previous encounters? Nothing to tell. Near misses, all of them. One time he clambered right up the cliffs to avoid my snares. Another time, he chased a bear into my camp. I nearly had him once. I could hear him below, eating, and I had the gun aimed right for him. Until the wind changed. He charged headlong into the tree to get at me. Nearly knocked me off my perch. And when I righted myself, he was gone. No animal's gonna best me. I'll bring it down. It needs doing. But I warn you. This beast is not to be trifled with. It must make its lair somewhere to the west. If you mean to go there, keep your wits about you. Watch yourself on the mountain. In these lean times, everything looks like prey to something. Who are you, anyway? I'm Thiersh. I've lived here long enough that Kith have started calling me the Old Hunter. And that's about all I can say for myself. Coming to your elders for advice, is it? What can I do for you? What can you tell me about Stellart? Well, I can tell you it won't be here much longer if things go on as they are. With the mines closed, we've lost what put us on the map in the first place. We're losing people every month. Too many mouths to feed and not enough to support them. Even the game's dwindling. I've been lucky. I have hides and horns enough to keep the traders happy, but now the ogres are picking the rest of us off. What can you tell me about the ogres? Only that they've been coming down in force again and again, trying to drive us out and kill us outright. The moment we started looking into Durgan's battery, it was like we kicked a hornet's nest. We made a good showing against that last group, by the way. I think you've given them reason to think twice about coming back. Why is the hunting so shitty here? It's been a colder season than usual, and the elk herds aren't faring well. We're stuck fighting with the ogre clans and the wolves over what's left, not to mention the occasional beast. We've lost a lot of young hunters. Has the legacy stuck struck Stellward as well? It has. We had some hope in the early days that we'd be spared, isolated are. That hope died in a hurry. Not everyone's been so unlucky, of course. You'll see a few pampered sprats around. Treating them like precious stones won't see them grow up any faster, if at all. You must have some interesting hunting stories. 
long hours checking snares and waiting out elk, mostly. Used to hunt some of the big ones. Bear, Stelgare. But up here, it comes down to necessity. Which means keeping stalwart fed, or else keeping it safe. Thing is, the last hunt didn't go so well. As you can see. Thank you, bye-bye! Hey. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Pillars of Eternity, the White March expansion.